Hi boys and girls, this is a video to try to show an example of how to tackle a math problem where you have to order um, rational numbers. And so you see we have five rational numbers here, 7 hundredths, uh, 2.12 times 10 to the negative first, 8 thirds, square root of 4, and 250%. So um, the question is probably... Um, when you're ordering rational numbers is where to begin. And I like to begin by converting them all to um, either percentages, fractions, or decimals. And for me, and there are many different ways to do this, um, I'm most comfortable probably with decimals. And that works out well because my very first, uh, my very first rational number is a decimal with seven hundredths. So when trying to compare seven hundredths to the rest of the numbers. I like to be able to put them on a number line. Um, and I think this is a good illustration of the different sizes of the number. So 0 0.07 or seven hundredths is, as you know, is very close to zero. It's a very small number. Um, seven hundredths as a fraction would be seven over 100, or as a percentage would be 7%. As a decimal, it's gonna go very close to zero. Uh, it's gonna be right about there. So it's a very small number. So I'm 20% done, 0.2, or uh, two-tenths of the way done. So my next one here is 2.2 times 10 to the negative first power. And the way you tackle one of these is to figure out what it is as a decimal, because it's 10 to the negative first power. To figure out what it is, we simply take the decimal point, and we're going to move it backwards one place. So it would be right here. So that 2.12 times 10 to the negative first is, in reality, it's 0.212, or 212 thousandths. Now, 212 thousandths, or 0.212, is also a pretty small number, but it's a little bit larger um, than 0 0.07. Uh, as a percentage, it would be 21.2%, and as a fraction, it would be 212 over 1,000. Of course, we could reduce it from there. Um, so it is somewhat larger than 0 .0, 0 0.07, but not a whole lot. So I'm going to keep that right there. Let's just put it there. It's, the number line is not perfect, as you can see. OK. And so um, I have ordered my first two. And now I see that I have 8 thirds. Now, 8 thirds is. I'm using my number sense. It is significantly larger than either of the two numbers we've placed on the number line. That's because it's greater than 1. Anything is a fraction. In this case, it's 3 or thirds. 3 thirds or above is 1 or greater. Now, this is 8 thirds. This is an improper fraction. If I convert it to a mixed number, this would be 2 and 2 thirds or 2.66. I would get that by, divide, by taking 8 and dividing it by 3. So this is far larger than the other two we've dealt with. This is going to be close to 3. Now I have the square root of 4. Now the square root, of course, can it, it, it is simple. What number times itself equals 4? And the square root of 4, then, is 2, because 2 times 2 equals 4. So let's actually... Well, I'm having a hard time moving this down. Let's put square root of 4 right there. So now we only have one left, 250%. What is 250% as a decimal? Well, because, um, because 1 equals 100%, we can make the quick uh, mental math that 250% is equal to 2.5. So let's move this down. 2.5 is a little bit smaller than 2.66 or 8 thirds. So we can put this right here. So now I have successfully ordered uh, my four rational numbers. I see that from least to greatest, there is uh, 0 0.07. Um, the next smallest is 2.12 times 10 to the negative first followed by the square root of 4, which is 2, followed by 250%, and followed by 8 thirds. I hope this helps.